took a high voltage power line to the top of my head doing that. The line bit me and it seared off all of the flesh from the crown of my head all the way down. Anything that does not have hair is transplanted skin from other parts of my body. I was blessed to be, here, to be here when I got hurt. There's no, I don't think anywhere else in the world would have been able to save my life like Harkin did. They're, they set their precedence for earn resuscitation and care in the world. So I was blessed to be taken to Harkin. They kept me in a coma in the hospital. Um, they were not sure how severe the pain would have been or if I would have been able to stand it. So they kept me in a medically induced coma. The healing mind is an amazing thing. As I was unconscious, I had dreams, and in my dreams, I was hurt. You know, it, I've had worse. It was my motto throughout the entire time I was in the hospital. Um, I hadn't had worse medically, but I dealt with a lot in my life, and so I was just, I knew I'd pull through. And it was hard. There were times where, you know, I would just pray. It was like, God, either give me the strength to get better or let me go home. You know, and he gave me the strength to get better, and I made the choices that I made to walk again, to talk, eat, all the things that the doctor said I would never do. Being the first 100% face transplant, I mean, that is great for me, but it opens the doors for everybody else who gets severe facial disfigurement, anything. So you actually be able to have another option than being scarred from chin to top, you know. And it's a great thing to know that people have it, I think they can choose other than living by looking in the mirror and hating what they see every day. But when you stare death in the face, everything about life seems that much more precious. And we take for granted all the little things from the color of the sky or grass to a sunrise or sunset. But those are gifts. Every breath that we take is a gift. We're not promised our next breath. And to worry about what you drive, how much you make, how hot or you are, what clothes you wear, that doesn't matter.